Alright guys, it's Black Widow here. Basically what I'm here to do at the moment is to basically speak to you guys and try to help you guys um, decorate this asset of mine. Um, now this is my um, this is my coaxial highway exit. Um, this is the one that has traffic flowing in the opposite direction in the middle from the other two. Now a lot of you people have been asking how do I get this pond in the middle. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I've done the same over here. Because I think it looks quite cool, to be honest. I think it looks cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how quickly you can decorate this. So... Right. So as you can see, I've kind of cleared most of it out. I mean, I'm going to leave the foliage underneath there, but I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to make a pond. And for that, you need um, the Bloody Penguins mod. And I'll show you what mod it is. Go to options. <laughs> um, this one, extra landscaping tools. So you really need to get that. Um, what that does is it gives you the water tool. So make sure that that's enabled whenever you have the tool enabled in the settings. So you need to enable the water tool. And then what that does is it unlocks this over here. So you can add a water source to the game. Now I've already got a water source, but I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to right click it and it's going to disappear. So I'll just speed the game up. And um, what I'll do is I'll flatten the land. And then obviously when you go into your landscaping button this will open up so choose the one that lets you level the terrain and then what you want to do is you right click an area to select like your reference point so I've right clicked on that there so I want it all to be that level and I just flatten it all out with the left click button and drag it all out so it's level there we go so that's that's what it looks like when you place the asset and obviously the vehicles are like oh water anyway so they're they're busy traveling away. Now all I need to do is create a hollow. So, from fresh, basically get the tool out. You can see that's why I've made the tunnel kind of follow the spiral as well, because that means you can actually place something like that in the middle. And use this. This is the step tool. Well, ditch tool, but I always call it the step tool because it like makes the game make a step down. If you click left click, it steps it up. I think it's, I think it's 20 units. I'm not 100% sure. See that makes it down again. So I've right clicked and it's made it gone go down. So get your level terrain, right click in the center of that, but not doesn't have to be as deep as that. I choose this point there. So then you kind of make a kind of shallow kind of hollow for your pool. If you guys are wondering what's wrong with my accent, I'm a South African guy that lives in Scotland, so my accent is like really strange. Um Right, so that's the hollow created. Now choose your water tool. And you can see I've got a nice hollow just waiting for water to get filled in there. Now left click. And then what you do is pause the game because you don't want it to flood your whole city. And see if you hover over it, it makes everything white, the screen white. And hold and left click, click and hold left click and drag it down. And then this happens, you can drag the water source down and choose it a level like there. That should do. And then just click escape. And you can see what's happened now. Look, all that water's like got somewhere to go. So just do that. Hopefully that'll disperse quickly. But this is just a test bed. Like, I use this city at the moment just solely for showing off assets that I create. So, like, Basically, I'm, I'm running like cheats and stuff just so I can build the city quickly to showcase what I've built. So anyway, I'm not too bothered about all the flooding and stuff like that. So there you go. So, so now we've got a pond in place. We've got a pond in place. You've seen how easy it is to do it. Now I just need to decorate it. Let's get some landscaping. Get some rocks. Oh, honestly, the noises of those things. I need to get a mod that turns that off. 
Let's get some rocks on the go. Literally, I mean, we can do this so quickly. Put that there. Now, I've got a mod at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see, this is Prop and Tree Anarchy. Now with that, because it's on, I can place that wherever I want to. So if I turn Prop and Tree Anarchy off, which is Shift and P, you can see it's turned to off. Now, if I try and place a rock, which is the problem that a lot of people were having trying to place my connect roads to these. Um, basically, what happens is, okay, I can place that now with this, but if I do... I actually have another mod enabled. I have Road Anarchy enabled as well, so if I control an A, I think that should be it. Yeah, now I can do it. So control an A. It should be down here, you should see things that say... It's basically Sharp Junction Angles mod. And um, if you enable Anarchy, then you can place things within the footprint of other buildings. So if I do control an A, obviously that's it that's how it would be for people without mods so you wouldn't really be able to place a rock on the edges like that and decorate it like that so but anyway so control a turns on anarchy anarchy's on let's place this rock there somewhere nice let's choose this i'll just show you guys how quickly you can decorate this and make it look decent not amazing just decent Place that there. I'm gonna change the time of day so you guys can see what's going on. There we go, that's much better. I'll slow that down. Right. So sometimes with a water source, this happens if you place a rock. So what I do is I just mask it. I just try and mask the the weird glitch that it does. Like see there how it's like a straight line. It's like it takes these rocks and things, oh my god, there's like space or whatever. So to cover that up, just literally you can do whatever you want. I mean you can place another rock there if you want to, just to like break up the edge, place maybe a rock coming out there, maybe something like that, maybe something in there. There you go, I mean you've already masked the problem a little bit. Now choose a tree, I like this one, choose one, and then now this is where, see, I cannot place a tree within the footprint of that building because prop and tree anarchy is off. So if I turn prop and tree anarchy on with shift and P, I can now place it within the thing if I want to. So I just place them like that. I kind of mask the edge of the water, the water line, put some in the, in the trees and between the rocks and stuff. As if it's overgrown and instantly it looks much better, like straight away. You can see a difference. Place a few trees like that. That's, that's called the Lantana. That's an awesome, awesome tree. Most of the trees that I've downloaded are made by a guy called Mr. Miyagi. If you haven't checked out his workshop items, I really recommend you check them out. Now, these trees are obviously like a point of interest, so I've spaced them out. Like, I've not gone crazy with them. Now, then get some bushes. You can literally go crazy with them. Like, not crazy, but like, just... You don't have to place them in, like, pre like pre-chosen areas. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but you don't have to. I mean, bushes don't grow, grow like that in real life, do they? So why would you place them like specifically in like a pattern? Unless you were doing like a garden area. Even like a palm tree. See, I don't like how that... Now you guys might be thinking, why is your tree going crazy? Because I've got the random tree rotation mod. That's why it's doing that. So if your trees don't do that, don't panic. You haven't done anything wrong. You just got the game in the vanilla state. Add some color, some white bushes. Break things up a bit. And I call this the flux transmission method. He puts um, orange, yellow, and white bushes everywhere, and it looks awesome. So I apologize for my um, my voice. I mean, I'm using my headset to record this at the moment. I mean, I just wanted to help some people out. So just let me know if it's rubbish or whatever. Oh god, that's massive, I don't want to use that. Okay, so, just add a few red in. 
I mean, and that's that's literally it, guys. I mean, that is it. I mean, you don't need to go crazy with this. You don't need to make it look ridiculous. I mean, look at that. I mean, that instantly looks 100% better already. And you've seen how easily I've done it. I mean, I've not exactly gone overboard with stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. I've put, I've put rocks and stuff underneath there, but... I've not gone crazy. Not really. So you can see, like, plants and stuff growing over and the rocks I've placed over there. That's the only thing that bugs me. They released an update a while ago that made these rocks spawn little rocks, and it bugs me so much. I'll just replace that. I'm a bit of a, of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, I don't mind things being all over the place, but I like it to look realistic at the same time, you know? So, I'll reverse this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I mean that's not too bad, but it's that wouldn't you wouldn't expect to find that there. Oh, there. <laughs> no, you definitely wouldn't find that there. So, let's rotate this back. Maybe take it to there. All oh, that look. That look ridiculous. Oh, that's much better. Okay, awesome. I've kind of solved the problem a little bit. <laughs> I mean, look at this traffic. It's ridiculous. As you can see, my roundabout um, highway exit handles large amounts of traffic. All right. I mean, it's not not crazy, but it disperses the traffic really good. And it all depends on your junctions that you have coming out of the roundabout. If I had um, a traffic lights sitting here and sitting there and sitting there, this thing would just grind down to a halt because the game doesn't handle that very well. So if you're going to use this, make sure you decorate it nicely. <laughs> and also make sure that these exits are um, are roads that allow traffic to just keep flowing. Because that is the... That's basically the city skyline. That's a golden rule. It's just to make sure that traffic is kept going roundabouts when you can. And if you cannot use roundabouts, try not to have junctions that have traffic lights. Unless you, like, have a, <coughs> have a city center that is maybe, like, just massive but you maybe have like the roads that are like like six lane and stuff like that but anyway I'm getting off topic or maybe maybe one day when I make my own skylines city skylines video then you can see but I mean look already it looks so much better apart from that rock there oh, it's fine no it's not fine it's bugging me anyway so yeah and then there's a few things you can download. They're like assets that are like boats. If you just go in the, the workshop and look for boat. And um, you can get boats that actually float. I mean, I've got one here that's like a rowing boat. And I love placing this as, as if as if someone's actually taken the time to row out. And there's maybe fishing in the pond. You know, like someone's actually like, you know, I'm going to fish. And you can get one that's not meant for floating, but it's like an asset that you can just place on the side as if someone hasn't done it yet. As if there's like some sort of secret pathway to this. I love things like that. If you guys haven't seen um, people like Flux, Flux Trance, or Strict Toaster, or Fresh Popcorn, I recommend you go and to watch their videos because they create stuff like this, and it's just, it's just amazing. That's basically what inspired me to do this because I was building one day and I created this, and I thought other people might enjoy using that in their city, so I did. <laughs> anyway. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hope it's useful. I hope people can see exactly how, how quick and easy it is to do this. So, to recap, create a hollow using the landscaping tool. Easy as pie. Basically, use the step tool or the ditch tool. Right click to make it go underground, a level. Choose your leveling tool. Right click to to choose the point of reference that you want to level all the train terrain to that point and then you use your left click to smooth it all out to that level making sure that all this is nice and smooth in the edges you don't want it to look ridiculous <coughs> choose your water tool choose your water source pause the game as you've seen what happens when you don't pause the game maybe even save the game before you do it in case you run into problems and then Select the water source and you can drag it up and down with left click. You click and hold left click and it drags it up and down. Easy as that. 
Not sure. And that's it. And then you can decorate it how you see fit. I mean, you just saw how quickly I decorated that. Uh, that did not take long at all. You know? Did not take a long time at all. Anyway. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy the assets I'm creating. I'll be creating some more in the future. Um, it just depends what I'm what I'm doing. But anyway, see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.